This integral here, again, has all the classic symptoms of an integral that will cave to a substitution. We have an internal function, we're going to call that w, and we have w prime here, or dw dx basically, on the main line. If we select w to be the exponent here, we're going to get to divide later on by x cubed. That'll cancel out the x cubed and we should have a simpler integral. So this is a classic substitution type integral where the choice of w is fairly clear cut. So x to the 4 minus 3. As soon as we choose w, we immediately have a relationship between w and x in the derivative sense, and that derivative would be 4x cubed. We take the dx up, 4x cubed down, and we get dw, uh, 1 over 4x cubed dw, equals dx. That's one of the relationships we're going to use, along with the w equals x to the 4 minus 3. With those uh, substitutions in place, e to the x to the 4 minus 3, when we integrate this with respect to x, we're going to be able to replace, well, the x cubed we can't replace yet. We'll keep it there. The e to the complicated part, the complicated part we're calling just w. And then last but not least, the dx, the dx is going to be replaced by 1 over 4x cubed dw. That entire dx term turns into the more complicated fraction there. But the beautiful thing about that fraction is that the x cubes cancel. And so we get 1 over 4, the integral of e to the w, dw. And we check again. Simpler. Check. And no x's. Check. So now we have something that we can actually integrate. Might as well do it right here. We're going to integrate now. And we'll get 1 quarter. Well, this is the easy one. What do I differentiate to get e to the w? e to the w, if that's my variable, plus a constant. And then last but not least, we go back to x's. And that's going to give us 1 quarter e to the x to the 4 minus 3. All of that plus a constant back on the main line. Of course, it should be a quarter. So just follow the steps and just, I. The key thing is to look for the patterns here. If we see something and it's derivative lying around, that's our best clue that a substitution is going to work and help give us a simpler integral that doesn't involve the original x variable that we can then evaluate and then go back to x's.